Are you sick of wasting money in Google Ads where you continue to spend more and more money but just not getting any conversions? So before you go through and smash another laptop or computer, stick around because I'm going to show you the three easy steps that you can follow so that you can start to see some more conversions in your Google Ads campaigns in 2023. But before we get into those steps, just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. Now, the first important step that you need to work out is that you need to go into your Google Analytics account and what you wanna be reviewing, you wanna see if you're only getting no conversions or if you've been seeing a decline in your conversions from Google Ads only. And what you're trying to determine here is, is that you're looking to determine is, is this a problem just with your Google Ads campaigns or is it affecting all of your traffic sources? So you're not only seeing any conversions in Google Ads, but you're also seeing no conversions in your organic traffic, in your social media traffic, and also in your email and direct traffic. And if that's the case, it's highly likely the issue isn't necessarily Google Ads, and it's more likely to have something to do with your landing page, your offer, or your pricing. So that first important step is to go through and really work out is this problem just Google Ads or is it facing my whole website and all of my different traffic sources? Now, if you have gone through your analytics and you can see that you're getting good conversion metrics or conversion metrics that you're happy with for your other traffic sources and you're just not seeing the results that you need with your Google Ads campaigns, you then need to move on to step two. And what you wanna do here is in your Google Ads account, you wanna go through and review two core metrics. And that is your top impression share and also your click-through ratio. Now the reason for why you wanna review your top impression share, and I do wanna stress that this is your top impression share, so the amount of times that your ads are in those top four placements, not just your impression share. And the reason for that is because we know that we get better quality traffic when we're appearing in those top four searches. And then the second metric that you wanna review is your click-through ratio. And the reason for that is because that lets us know whether your ad copy is resonating with the audiences, so much so that they're actually going through and clicking on your ads. And let me show you right now how you go through and review these two core metrics. So the first thing you wanna be doing is you wanna be going through and reviewing your search impression share. Now, your search impression share will sometimes come up, but what you do need to do is you wanna go into your columns, go modify columns, and you also wanna make sure that you've got your search top impression share and also your search absolute top. And what this one does is that this search top impression share lets you know the percentage of times that you're appearing in those top four positions, and the absolute top is obviously letting you know when you're in that number one position. And once you've got those added in here, the reason for why you wanna review this metric is because you wanna be making sure that you're appearing in this top impression share at least 50% of the time. So there's no point having a really high impression share if you've got a really low search top impression share. So what you do wanna make sure is you're making sure that you've got this search impression share top above 50%. The other core metric that you wanna be looking at is your click-through ratio. Now this one is our branded campaign, so it's a lot higher. For search campaigns that are not branded, you wanna be making sure that you've got a click-through ratio of at least above 7%. Now historically, I would say, at least above 5%, but the reason for why we are now saying above 7% is because data that came out in 2022 was showing that because Google's AI and its learning has improved so much, is that click-through ratios now on average are 7% across search campaigns. So you wanna be making sure that you've got a click-through ratio of above 7%, ideally closer to 10% or above 10%. And what these two metrics let you know is firstly, they let you know, are people clicking on your ads? So are you your ads relevant and are they finding them worthwhile? And the second metric that you're looking at is that search top impression share is it's a competitive metric and you're making sure that your ads are being shown in a high priority position. So if you've gone through and you've firstly isolated that the problem is just Google ads and that you are already seeing good levels of conversion in your other traffic sources and then you've also gone into your Google ads account and you're happy with that search impression share, making sure that that top impression share is above 50% and you've got that click-through ratio of above 7%, the third and final step that you need to do is you need to be going through your optimization process, especially your ad copy split tests and your landing page reviews. And what we're doing here is we're going through and continuing to go through our optimization checks, especially those ad copy checks and also those landing page reviews 
until we start to see those conversions rolling in. Now to make sure that you're not missing any of these important optimization steps and also to make sure that you're not over optimizing your account or under optimizing your account. And the reason for why that's important is because success for Google Ads is seen when your manual optimizations are working hand in hand with Google's automated learning. And that's why you need to have a Google Ads optimization schedule so that you know exactly what you need to be optimizing in your Google Ads campaigns every 72 hours, every week, every month, and every 90 days. And to help you with that, I wanna give you free access to my Google Ads optimization checklist. And to get yours today, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. And now when it comes to those two important tasks of going through and completing your ad copy split tests in the right way, and also going through and completing your landing page reviews, I wanna give you some extra free training right now. And the reason why I've broken this out into extra videos is because these aspects are so important. So for your ad copy, if you wanna learn more about how to go through and correctly split test your responsive search ads, I want you to go through and watch this video here. And if you wanna go through and find out what's working on landing pages right now from over 10,000 user tests, I want you to go through and watch this free training right here. Once again, thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you on my next video. See ya.